Hello there lovely people, this is Ashley sending you my love from whatever reality I'm in today to you in whatever reality you happen to find yourself in. Right, well, <laughs> um, it's where to start really, it's all been a bit, it's all been very, very strange. Um, over the past week or so, um, the Schumann Resonance has made a massive, massive leap. Um, up to 104 hertz, and you know it's uh, the baseline is 7.8, and it had jumped to 104 hertz. Um, and whenever they have, whenever the Schumann resonance has these massive, high number leaps, we seem to do some rather large changing and shifting. And although I haven't really seen very much on the ground myself, uh, there are little things that have changed. But nothing too major, nothing that's, you know, um, made me nearly fall backwards anyway. My, my, the, the park that grew bigger has now, um, it's changed, it's changed colour. And some of the rides have changed, some of the actual rides in the park have changed. Now it's a bit difficult to show you that because I actually um, put the photographs of the changes in a you know in a group on Facebook not in a group but in a chat group on Facebook with some you know with um, my friend just so that I could keep track of what I you know because I know these things change so anyway they changed so I can't really show you that however this is the point of this this whole video I'm getting right to the, well not getting right to the point I've just waffled about something for a while but this is the point of the video. During this shift, we're caught in the middle of shift, a shift at the minute, right at this minute we're in the middle of a shift, during which time, for me, the North Pole came back. For you, quite a lot of you, the North Pole came back, and then for some of you, it disappeared again. For me, it's still here, very much so, still here. According to Google, Google Maps, Google is showing a massive amount of snow, our old ice cap that had disappeared and he's now back for me, which is, you know, it, it makes you feel good. It's like, oh, I love you. I know you. But it doesn't mean that my old world's back. It just means that for now, I'm back in a place where part of the reality has the polar ice cap back. And I say part of the reality because, as I said, we're in flux. We're in the middle of influx. And so much so that the sun is in two opposing positions at the moment. Two completely opposing positions, by which I mean, <clears throat> in the reality that um, that I was aware of being in, we were about to, uh, we thought that we'd be reaching solar minimum during the this cycle, uh, this cycle of the uh, sun's magnetic field. And indeed, it seemed to go that way. <laughs> but I keep seeing these, uh, on my Google News feed, um, I keep seeing things from NASA going on about how, you know, mass coronal ejection and things like this. So I had a check about it because yesterday, the 15th, there were two opposing, two completely opposing stories by NASA happening on the same day, July the 15th, 2019. Now, the first one, it showed, <laughs> and I'm laughing at this because I don't believe in NASA anyway, but this is, NASA is supposed to be telling us the truth, aren't they? So here we go. First picture, first um, article was showing the International, International Space Station in front of a spotless moon. Sorry, a spotless sun, completely spotless sun, because we're in, we're actually in solar min minimum and there isn't very much sunspot activity. So there really isn't any coronal ejection going on. And there's this beautiful photograph of this tiny little speck that is apparently the International Space Station in front of the sun, which is completely and utterly void of any, any activity whatsoever. There are no, there are, there are no mass coronal ejection, there are no sunspots. And then, later on in the day, um, they posted an article about how a mass coronal ejection had left the sun and was going to hit Earth either the 15th or the 16th of July and it could knock out all kinds of power. And this was a this was an, an article and it showed you pictures of a mass coronal eject, uh, ejection. And this is by NASA. So NASA are showing, um, a, obviously, a simulation or a captured 
from previously work because it can't you know it can't tell you it's it's already happened and it'll hit us hit us on the 15th of the 16th reporting on the 15th if they've only just found that it takes a while to get to us allegedly so there they are two totally and utterly different things going on the complete opposite of each other with the sun one news report saying Here's the sun, and I've seen, you know I have seen quite a few reports of the sun having absolutely no sunspot activity on it. And with this little international space station above it, and the very same day NASA are also telling us that it's been a mass coronal ejection, and that all the particles are streaming towards Earth, and they're going to hit us on the fifteenth or the sixteenth, and it could cause utter chaos. Uh, you see I can't <laughs> even being Mandela affected and even seeing these sort of changes that's madness that's NASA on Google telling you two separate stories that are the complete opposite of each other I mean the, the sun is either able to produce mass coronal ejection or it isn't. And at the moment, we're getting two completely different stories from them. So this is proof positive that we are in between. We're in the shift. And it does take Google a while to catch up with the new reality. So we get both realities at the same time on, on, on the web. I don't know how. I don't. I don't understand any of it. I, I can't even begin to explain. I can't. I don't know why. I don't know how. I don't know any of it. But I do know that somehow Google takes a while when we're during a shift. I noticed that at first because, like I've said in other uh, in other of my uh, videos, that when I was researching about um, the Great Pyramid of Giza, it couldn't tell me which the Great Pyramid was for about three or four days. And in fact, it couldn't tell me if I was asking it which of the three stars of Orion's belt um, is the largest correlating to the pyramids of Giza, it would actually change my question. <laughs> Come up with all kinds of unbelievable stuff. Because it couldn't answer me. So I thought, right, well, we're in between. But I couldn't understand why or how. Then I heard about D-Wave computers. But the, the point here, people, is that right now, this minute, Google is showing that we are in between shifts because we're in between one one world where the sun is in solar minimum and one world where the sun is throwing out massive amounts of uh, radioactive material that are heading towards Earth on a regular basis. Apparently this has been happening for a few weeks now. So this is the complete opposite with the sun. Now for those of you who are sat there going, give us the proof. I actually posted the proof um, to the Facebook group, but I do understand that there's an awful lot of you that that don't actually have Facebook. And that's really difficult because I can't show it you here. I'm not, a t I, I haven't got a laptop. I just use my phone. So I'm not able to show you the things that I'm finding. You know, I can't, you know, when you capture a screenshot, I can't show you that. I can't show you that. But I do, I, again, I want to ask you, um, I want you to go and have a look at what the sun says, um, about NASA says about what's happening with the sun today. And let's see if what it's telling you. Let's see what it's telling you, because that's how we learn from each other. That's how we get to... This is how I understand... Well, I don't say understands a large stretch, but this is how I'm beginning to put things together through talking to other people, through talking to you, through your communicating with me about your stories, your thoughts, your theories, everything. I mean, and on that note, I was um, speaking to a theory of nothing, and he showed me a screenshot of his... In his area, he was going to a, a restaurant and it was showing three locations for the one restaurant. There aren't three restaurants. It's what it's one restaurant, but it was showing three locations and that was a few days ago. So these sort of things are happening and they happen when we're in flux and they're actually in flux for a little bit longer, I think, this time. We're in flux for a little bit longer. We haven't finished shifting yet. And so, yes, please, anything, I mean, <laughs> things like, this is another thing I'm going to have to I'm going to have to talk about. It's the sky because red rainbows at night time, white rainbows in the day in Scotland, 
that's not that's not my normal world and i'm quite sure that isn't your normal world either so um i do know that like uh vanessa she caught fantastic pictures of uh, a red rainbow at night and as did my friend um here in britain and she and my friend vanessa's in america and she got some cracking pictures of a red rainbow in dusk and uh, you know that, that that's not that's not my reality that is not my reality so not are we in the middle of a shift. The things that are different are happening straight away and we can't, we're seeing them straight away and they're really different. You know, rainbows at night time, white rainbows, they're, they're not normal. They're not part of my forever time. I'm quite sure they're not part of yours either. So I want to, th I want to know, you know, from you, what is Google, you know, the source of all knowledge, <laughs> telling you about the sun today? And please make it NASA-based, because, you know, they're supposed to be the source of all knowledge about space. So please just see what NASA is saying about what the sun's doing today and let me know down below, please. And, um, yeah, thank you so much, as always, for your love and support, because, believe me, to, you know... <laughs> living with this and knowing that every day that you wake up that it's still the, it's still the same we're still changing it's not I haven't gone back to my old life where everything was the same as everybody else so it's hard for us and I ended up again crying just crying in the bath earlier because I feel lost I feel completely and utterly lost so trying to put these things together with you is the only it's my, you're my only support. And I need you so much. I do, I need you so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you for being here with me. I can't tell you how important you are. Don't forget, go on Google, put down below what it says to you. And keep track of it. Let's see if we can find out when it actually makes its mind up. So, till next time, lovely people.